So here's this one lonely voice in a pop dance song that really calls for some full of background vocals and some colorful harmonies. So we started with this. Let's party, cause if you really do it right. And ended with this. Let's party, cause if you really do it right. Well, I'm gonna break it all down today and show you step by step how to create colorful, lush, realistic, but fake background vocals and harmonies, and how to also create a little vocal arrangement using only one solo vocal as the source. Coming up. Hi, Artie here from the Skylab Music Group in New York City, bringing you the best pro tips and advice for music producers, engineers, and artists to help you propel your music and your career up to the next level. On this channel, we do a lot of tips and strategy videos as well as tech reviews, so if you're new here, please subscribe and ring the bell so you won't miss out on any new content. Okay, so let's get into it. Many times you want to create some color with the vocals by adding harmonies and background vocals, but the singer just isn't available, or for any number of reasons, you'd rather just do it electronically. First, we're going to create doubles, triples, and quadruples, and we're not doing it with the obvious chorusing and double effects presets. We're going to go much deeper into it so we have more control and we can make it sound more realistic. Then we're going to actually change the melody for one of the lines of the lead vocal and use the original line as lower harmony. Next, we're going to create two and three part harmonies for only certain lines using two completely different methods. Then we're going to use a talk box effect for another line. And finally, we're going to group all the background vocals together, process them, automate them, and A beat against the original vocal. So strap yourself in. We got a lot to cover today. So let's dive into the box. So here's the vocal in solo. Raise your glasses, shake your asses underneath the light. Feel the music, let the dancing get your body high. So I want to get four background tracks of this. So what I did was I took this piece, I took the whole track over here, I created four new tracks, and I dragged it onto four individual tracks over here. So as you can see in this diagram, just because the track is duplicated does not make it a double. It still has the same face characteristics as the original, so it's only going to sound louder. So I selected all the regions in the track, and I went up to the region menu. I fine-tuned it up by 22, and I delayed it by 81 ticks. By doing this, we changed up the phase relationships between the two tracks, and it's going to sound like two separate voices singing, which is what a double actually is. Okay, so let's hear both of these together, just the two tracks, the lead vocal, and this one over here, which is now panned to the left. Raise your glasses, shake your asses underneath the light. There. Now what I did was I took the right channel over here, and I did almost the exact opposite. So whereas on this channel, I went plus 81, fine-tuned to plus 22. On this channel over here, I did negative 22 and negative 82 ticks. If you hear these together now. Raise your glasses, shake your asses underneath the light. You can feel that spread now. Now I did the same thing on these other two channels, but I didn't do it as severe. I went somewhere in between and a little more random. So on this track over here, what I did was plus 67 ticks, and plus 14 for the fine tuning. And on this one over here, I went the opposite way, negative 49 and negative 10. So let's hear all of these together. Raise your glasses, shake your asses underneath the light. Okay, that was the double portion of this. Now we're gonna work on creating a new melody line. <laughs> For this next section, I really wanted the lead vocal to be singing a different, higher melody than she actually sang, but it seems she did the lower harmony. So I used flex pitch to change what she actually sang to the notes that I wanted. I could have also used Melodyne for this. So here's what she actually sang. Let's party, cause if you really do it right. And here's what I changed it into. Let's party, cause if you really do it right. Okay, so by itself, it sounds a little distorted and stuff, but we're going to see how we can fix that up. So here's a quick rundown of how I did it using Flex Pitch. I added a separate track, an audio track. We copied and pasted, just drag this down over there. Don't copy. Okay, I'm going to mute this one over here. Double click on that. And we are going to go into Flex. Turn on Flex Mode. Okay, and it does that. Now we're going to go over here to Flex Pitch. 
and it's going to have all the notes over here. Let's party, because if you really do, you're right. Okay, but what I want is, let's party, because if you really do, we're right. So I need to change the notes. So I'll select these guys over here. Whoa, you see how fast I am with this mouse? Let's party, because if you really do, you're right. So now what I did was I bounced this down. Okay, by going over here and going bounce in place. And I created another track. And I'm going to cancel that, but I basically created two other tracks over here. Now let me show you what I did with these. This one I have over here and I fine tuned a little bit, changed the ticks over here, and did the opposite over here, negative 15 plus 8. So this way they're not all starting and stopping at the same time, and they're all slightly different in pitch. So the others I have panned left and right, but this one I kept panned up the center to be more of the lead vocal. Let's party, cause if you really do, you're right. Okay, now let's add the lead vocal back in there, which is now relegated to the role of lower harmony. Let's party, cause if you really do, you're right. Okay, now let's unmute the other background vocals we did earlier and hear everything together. Let's party, cause if you really do, you're right. Okay, so we changed up the lead vocal melody line and turned the original melody into the lower harmony and thickened it up with multiple tracks. Now let's create some new harmonies for some of the other lines. So here's the first line by itself. Raise your glasses, shake your asses. So I copied the piece I wanted to harmonize onto another track and adjusted it with flex pitch until I got the harmony I wanted. It really helps to know music and have a good sense of harmony. Although in this next phase, I'll show you how to create vocal harmonies even if you don't know much music theory. Raise your glasses, shake your asses. I bounced it to another track. And now on this track, I did the same technique as before. One plus 18, negative 22. Just shook it up a little bit. So now when you hear these two together... Raise your glasses, shake your asses underneath the light. Feel the music, let the dancing get your body high. So for lines two and four, I wanted three part harmonies. So here's the line by itself. It's underneath the light. So here's the vocal lines with the harmonies. And I'm going to show you how I did it. It's underneath the light. Feel the music, let the dancing get your body high. So like I did before, I copied the vocal parts I wanted to harmonize onto separate tracks. So I took the track off of the stereo output because we're going to use bus 2 to send to the isotope nectar to create our harmonies for this section. So now what I did was I use a preset that I call RT Harmony Start, but it came from the boy band chant, and then I modified it. First thing that you have to do is set the key. So this happens to be in D minor. I hit the blue button here named Solo Voices, so the original vocal signal won't be part of the mix, and the harmonies we're creating will be soloed within the plugin. So basically, I'm going up a third and down a fourth. So up a third is... It's underneath the light. Now we'll listen to the down a fourth harmony, which is actually still the fifth within the scale, if you're familiar with musical theory. It's underneath the light. Now all of them together for three-part harmony. Underneath the light. I set it to make some variations in pitch and time so it wouldn't have the same exact phase as the original vocal it came from, much like I've been doing on all of the other tracks. So let's turn on everything and see where we're at so far. Raise your glasses, shake your asses underneath the light. Feel the music, let the dancing get your body high. Let's party, cause if you really do, you're right You are gonna remember not about last night Originally there was a lead vocal over here that sang this part Whoa. And I just wanted a little more effecty So what I did was I dragged it onto a separate track over here Which I'll call Talkbox Let's mute that over there and put on Talkbox track And here's what we have Whoa. So I used isotope vocal synth for this one line. I played around vocal synth a lot one afternoon, saved some patches, and this one just seemed to work. So let's hear it in context. The ball last night. A ball last night. 
So I'm not going to go into all the details here regarding how I process the vocals because that's a video by itself. But I'll touch on it and I'll play the vocals with the music and then we'll do a quick A-B comparison with the dry acapella vocal. So I took most of the background vocals and assigned them to bus four. And then on bus four, I rolled off the low end. I put a compressor on there. Then I put a stereo spread to spread the whole thing out a little more. And then I put an equalizer on and I really boosted the high end around 12K. I had some delays, reverbs, and parallel compression set up. Now let's see everything together. Raise your glasses, shake your asses, I'm the Raise your glasses, shake your asses underneath the light. Raise your glasses, shake your asses underneath the light. Feel the music, let the dancing get your body high. Feel the music, let the dancing get your body high. Let's party, cause if you really do your right. Let's party, cause if you really do your right. You are gonna remember not the ball last night. You are gonna remember not the ball last night. Oh, 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 about last night. Oh, 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 about last night. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay, so I hope you learned a few things here to help you out when you have that lonely, solitary vocal track and you need to really spice things up and create a little more excitement and a little more of a vocal arrangement. So these are a few of the methods that I use, but now that you know the basic concepts, you can use whatever tools you have at your disposal to do the same thing. If you have any other ways of creating background vocals and harmonies, I'd love to hear as well as everyone else. So please share your thoughts and your comments down below. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Thanks, you're the best. So please check out show notes and links down below in the description, which will list the links to all of the plugins we used here today. And thanks for checking out this video. And for more videos like this about mixing, engineering, music production, music career advice, and more, please subscribe below. Until next time, Skylab Music is bringing you the best pro tips and advice for growing your music career. So play it louder, and we'll talk soon. Raise